pick up some shit, and then we'll go to town on these fucking Nazi bastards. Preacher. No, listen, Lord, Lord, pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz. Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recall. <laughs> oh, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts? Apart from saving our sorry asses. I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Oh, <laughs> This here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the south and yonder. Oh, we be the outcast, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old time friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believing anarchist. A hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's. Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in the cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn Nazi some bitches coming here, we're gonna shoot their asses out. I tell you what, going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You've got a lot of good people here. You're pissed up with machine guns. More good Love it. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Keith to go fuck himself. He's with the cross out circle, walking this. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my mom always said, never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, say terror belly, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton Speck. Oh, goddamn. Now listen, terror belly, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start build a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they dressed people like you for their dirty work while they was watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the passive, the takerous men in marble mansions. Well, I've seen you through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. Yeah, here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. 
Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, or oh, they'll lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, there, Billy, you upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. Ain't one to argue with you, Terry Billy. Too tired of fight. Too tired. Man, fuck you. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. So what's it gonna be? You hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards. He's gonna pass out. Goddamn traitors. <laughs> oh Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right, let's start this revolution. Hit it. Harris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pour some wines, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir. You're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. Just mind the temper. Look, you better get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Shit. <laughs> All set there, Billy. Now again. Yeah, man. Oh my God, how cool is this? Let's see what this puppy can do. What's that in the boat? Yeah. Moonlight Destiny, how you doing? Thanks very much for the follow. Alright. Okay. We're killing some fucking Nazis now. Where's the Nazi man? Jimin. Some ammo. Oh shit! Ah, oh, god! I didn't mean to do that. Get off! Need some ammo first. Oh, 
Looks like I got ammo. Okay. Okay, we're good. Stay there, Pooch. Daddy won't be long. Where we go? Okay, so there's got to be an entrance in the air. Is there an upstairs? Get to? How do we get out of it? Crap down there, and I. I can't get up. I can't get up. I don't know how we get down there, guys. Got be through another way.
zwei. Go go make it goldfish, thanks very much for the follow. I've got to do all of that again. Seriously?
fuck's sake. Uh, it's not the best weapon to use, to be honest. more ammo if I can. No, it doesn't look like there is anymore. Yes, I'm being a chicken. I'm hiding. Am I out of ammo? I reload. Team 42 Raid! How you doing Team B42? How do I change my gun? How you doing today guys? Gambling Nation, thank you very much for the follow. I've got to change weapons. Thank you guys, much appreciated. Right, let's hopefully I don't die again here. Uh, <laughs> Team B42, thank you guys, much appreciated. Feeling the love guys, feeling the love, thank you. Jesus.
Yeah, here we go. Can I get him? Uh, Longbella, thank you very much for the follow, much appreciated. Kevin Minion, thank you very much for the follow. Mr. Goldie, thank you very much for the follow. Cheers guys, much appreciated. Be nice to get some overhealth as well, but... if you're not supposed to take him on because he's quite a big boy I'm stuck come on I can't get on I can't get up there for some reason why can't I jump up there that is bizarre I'm gonna run and hide. Okay. He can come to me. Can't really see what's going on, there's too much. It's actually a different way of going because that does seem to be a bit of a, like a full on slower, pretty much. Yeah, there must be a different way. I don't know if there's going to be another one. Oh, there might be. I can't get out, this is the problem, I'm stuck. Yep. Ah, there's too many of them. Too many. I 
killed you. Dude, stop it. Oh, I can't get up there, can I? I can get almost the way through and then it's just get mutilated. I've got no ammo, no armor. I'll get some armor now. I'm just gonna save this quickly in case I get caught with my pants down. Oh, 
shit. Shit. Up the staff. Music's pretty cool. We've got to go down there, have we? I think we've done it. That was good. I enjoyed that. Come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happened? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Fine. I'm trying to regroup with Wyatt. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in. And we are on our way to Lakeview District. Listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Round up the last of the people and fixing to leave. Well, make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. <laughs> I tried jumping on him like you said, it didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, I reckon I have to hide and buy a Archer, thank you very much Captain, for the fellow. Captain, getting swamped here. We're standing on top of the Lakeview apartment building. So many of them, they just keep coming. So many Nazis. Oh, it shit. never ends, does it, Captain? Can you dig it, man? Wyatt, out. Terra Billet, we've met up with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon. Sure. Where's that, that coming from? Bossman, come in. Where's our boat? I don't see no boat. We're getting our butts handed to us out here. Wyatt, I read. Sorry, we're being held up. Working to resolve. 
Nazi zombies. I don't think it was about the zombies, was it? I mean, I, I actually own the game. I haven't played it for a long time. It's the same thing. That it's still zo it's still still zombies. It's still Nazis, um, but they're kind of like proper high tech. They're really high tech zombies. <laughs> so I, I've got zombies on the bloody brain now. They're high tech uh, Nazis. Oh, the very first one. I, I don't think I played that one. I played the. Uh, oh, you are a gosh darn hero! I knew you would make it. Uh, Wyatt, Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry come on. up! Does it take time loading that? Ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board Ooh, the Jesus. U-boat. We've spotted the outsmerts on the radar. It'll be here any minute. You want a I don't like this gun. Oh. Dude, stop throwing your beam at me. No, don't shoot there. over there somewhere but I'll see where he is. There's a timer. Oh at the top? Yeah, it's a broadcasting alarm. It just it's showing you how close you are away how close you are away from the like the commander. Closely yeah. See where are you? I've seen you run in there. Jesus. Oh no, I don't know that one. I want that one. Oh shit! Fucking hell, look at it go. Epic. It's got the stairs. It's gonna be in here, it must be. Where is he then? The thing is as well, these commanders, they don't stay in one place, they run around. Oh shit! <laughs> Cups of dogs. Oh shit! Fucking dog! See it. it's so dark in here. There's the commander. Gotcha. I 
missed that next objective. Reach the rooftop. Blazkowicz, all of the evacuees are on board, yeah, but we melted, can't man. leave. <laughs> are stuck in the mud. We're stranded, and the outsmercer is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. What about, like, the nuclear cannon? What are you talking about, Wyatt? The shockwave from the nuke could push us out to sea, man. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. This, this shotgun's epic. It's like crazy shit. Go, done. You have to fire now, Blaskowitz. Now, it's quite an underrated game, I thought this. I remember when it came out, and um, I don't think it really got a lot of attention. It is a very good game, it's very smooth, it's crashed once. And I've played for like... 8 hours? It's been pretty good actually. Got it. Looks like the She's fantastic, the she's my favourite character in this. Clear skies on scoop. Briar Angle commands it now. Using it to hunt terrorists, but in the way back... The Ausmers would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Ausmers would swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. But we're gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Ausmers firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack, conquer the Ausmers, and use it against the Nazis. Now, the Ausmers is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. It's so easy, man. I've got it all figured out. Oh, yeah? After you atom bombed the bejesus out of the old Oberkommando at Roswell, the Nazis ran scared. They took all their top brass, all their top military secrets, and they reestablished the Oberkommando on Uncle Venus. Uncle Teletubby. Venus, the planetary That's body. a quality, Venus though. in space, man. It is cold. Up there, you can Uncle Teletubby. Thanks for the follow. Niggas, niggas. <laughs> Uncle Teletubby. We are gonna load up and we're gonna fly. Uh -huh. Oh man, we're just gonna take <laughs> our choppers. But instead of only going so high, we are just gonna keep going straight up right into space. This geezer is so oh. smacked off his tits on acid, it's unbelievable. In the last mission, he was taking he was taking acid and picking up invisible lizards or something. Weird. So I might have a plan too. Wyatt, do you mind? No, man. It's all good. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terrabilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown. Anya, what you think? William and I are going for milkshakes. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor, traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security Jesus. should be minimal. Break a leg. Nazi no, UFOs. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. 
Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. I'll, uh, I'm on my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come. to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. We need to pretend what is this? Those so inclined. Well, you ate a scary meal. Short list or that? No. It should be fun. How am I supposed to? I've got bloody pigeons on my roof. This is exciting. I'm gonna write this down. Hang on. Places, places, quickly! <coughs> Hein Hitler! Hein Hitler! Oh, he's not doing too well, is he? Elena! Come then. Unter das Gesehen, fremd in mein Büro. Würden Sie mir bitte verraten, wer in Gottes Namen das ist? Ja, ja, es sind Schauspieler, mein Führer. Schauspieler? Ja. Diese Männer wollen für die Rolle von William Josef Blaskowitz vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Es tut mir leid, meine Nachricht hat sie wohl nicht erreicht. Was? Und bessere konnten wir nicht finden. Keiner von denen sieht im Kerl auch nur ähnlich. Ja, 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 das kriegen wir. Gott noch mal. Das kriegen wir mit Schminke hin, mein, mein Führer. Oh, oh ja, Schminke. Mhm. Gut. Das ist magisch. Schauspieler, geschult in der Kunst der Verkleidung und der Täuschung, ja, ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist er ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it, too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler. Wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter <lacht> Schurke, ein Jude? He's going to kill him, I reckon. Ein verkleideter Jude? No, yeah. no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. Told ya. Ja, we'll carry spare. Sie kommen immer wieder. Fuck you. Yeah. Ja. Schafspelz. Konspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von weitem. <lacht> oh no! Is he seriously pissing? Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt What von den Reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Kriege ziehen. So ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. Uh. William oh, Josef Platzkowitsch. Oh. 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 Ah. Helene. Mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert-Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. 
Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeile, jeder Silbe fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Führer, bravo! Um Gottes Willen. Oh. That is misery. Fuck. See. See. Spiel die Szene. Elena. Zusammen mit ihm. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. What the hell did I write? Right. Okay. And you're a Nazi. And you are a Nazi whore. You monster! What are you going to do to me? Uh... <laughs> uh, I will rape and murder you. I will break and massacre you. I will cake and butter you. I'm gonna go for that one. I don't think he would rape and murder someone. I don't think it's something that he would say. I will break and massacre you. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again! Shit. Uh, I will massacre your damn people too. I will muffin your ripe peach. <laughs> I will murder your dirty race too. Let's try that one. I will murder your dirty race too. <coughs> Ach, widerlich. Absolut widerlich. Sie haben offensichtlich keine Ahnung, wer dieser Mann ist. Oh shit, well, I got it wrong. Um, the legendary art attack. Thanks very much for the follow. Right, let's try this one more time. We'll get it right, don't worry. I will murder your dirty race too. I thought I had it right. You're... And you're a Nazi whore. Will rape... Oh, 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 he did say I will rape and murder you. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't watch all that again. What the hell did I write? And you are a Nazi whore. So this is in their interpretation of what he said, but this is not actually what he said. Uh, I will. I will rape and murder you. So many German innocent lives. <laughs> what am I listening to? Was in the kitchen. German race will rise again. So basically, we're, we're with Adolf Hitler. Ed Ad can't say his, word, his name. Adolf Hitler, who's planning on putting a movie together with Blaskowitz, and you're trying to remember the lines, for the part that you're supposed to be playing, and um, if you get the line wrong, he kills you. So this is the second attempt. I will murder your dirty race too. <laughs> <laughs> die Worte waren richtig, ja. Aber sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Josef Blatzkowitsch. Wie können sie sein, was sie nicht verstehen? Sie. Spielen sie die Rolle. Füllen sie, füllen sie, füllen sie die Rolle. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. And you're a Nazi whore. You monster. What are you going to do to me? 
I will rape <laughs> you, and I will murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed. But the German race will rise again. And I will murder your dirty race, too. <laughs> Viel besser! Sie könnten von ihm lernen! Ich gebe Ihnen, was Sie brauchen, um den Geist dieses Irren zu verstehen, dieses dreckigen Untermensch. Oh, ich fand ihn in- und auswendig. Und darum konnte ich ihn gefangen nehmen und ihn der Gerechtigkeit übergeben. Äh, mein Gott, mein Gott, habe ich Hunger. William Josef Platzkowitsch, aufgewachsen in Mesquite, Texas. Mischlingskind eines Verkäufers und einer polnischen Jüdin. Die Mutter wurde vom Vater ausgeliefert, starb in einem Vernichtungslager in Neumexiko. Selbst als Erwachsener waren seine geistigen Fähigkeiten noch nicht eines Kindes. <lacht> as an adult, his intellectual capacity was that of a small child or something like that, he said. man sehen, dass er Jude ist. Helene, machen Sie weiter. Ich bin müde. Esperance, as you know, this role is very physical. William Josef Bloskowitz was not a man of intellect, he was a man of action. The scene takes place right before the scene you did earlier. Bloskowitz is about to plant the bombs that will massacre the German children in the orphanage. But first, he must eliminate the brave soldier standing guard outside the school in a brutal fight scene. Mr. Le Llewellyn Irving? Llewellyn Ewing. Yeah. Why don't you start? So I think I know what's going to happen. I think... You will each improvise a fight sequence. And yeah. once the guard is eliminated, oh. you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card. Exactly as written. Place it. And action. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I, I, I need to take a break. Line, please. Yeah, I need a doctor. Line. Your bravery is no match for a Neanderthal like myself. Besides, I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. And now, to kill all the innocent children, Germany's future. Ha 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 ha, will I? Oh, Oh shit! <laughs> I, d I, I, I knew that would kind of happen. I just didn't know what it would do. That's still quite funny. Oh, right, I won't do it. Mr. Redfield. I'm going. Would you step into the box? Right. Dann mach es mal richtig, du wichtig Tor. Ah, hang on. I got a shoe, my boy. you wanted? Is that what you had in mind? You Nazi asshole. Cause that's all you're getting. Wunderbar! Wunderbar! Haben Sie das gesehen, Helene? Wie geboren für die Rolle! Oh, er wird mein Platz kommen! Oh Gott! Er ist mehr als perfekt! Let me help you unpack, Mr. Redfield. <laughs> 